Okay, good morning. Welcome to? Aspects number 151. Aspects number 151. This morning we're going to take a, uh, a box, a Spaceopoly box, and we're going to take an 8x8 eight eight sheet of paper and build a picture frame for it. Sound like, sound like fun? Interesting. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay, so here's our first attempt, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we got here? We need a space. Did we go all the way around? No. Almost. Pretty close though, right? Yeah. All right. Good job. What do you What do you want to do next? Do you want to try again, or do you want to try to look at maybe uh, some other way to do it? We can try some other way. Let's try some other one? Okay. Yeah. Let's try some other one. Okay, so we came up with a second approach. What's this approach going to be? Systematic. Systematically. So what are you going to do this time? We're going to work our way around the square. The rectangle? Yeah. The box, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. So we're going we're gonna to cut pieces of paper and then go work around. Instead of cutting them all the pieces up and try to fit them at the end, we're going to cut them up and go around one piece at a time, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's do that. All right, so we're making good progress on our systematic way. We're around the first edge, right? Yep. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Wow, look at this. We have a little little bit of a, a miracle. We, we got all the way around the box. But do you see any little tiny problem with the strips? Are they all the same width? No. Now, which ones? Which, show me one that's wider, for example. Well, this one. That one's wider. Okay, but, but we, did a, we did a good job on this one. We got all the way around the box. So this time, our systematic way really helped us, but we got left with some strips that were too wide, right? Yeah. So some are too wide and some are too thin, so we need to figure out how to fix that. All right, one more try? Yep. Okay, so we're on Math Practice 150 today, and we're doing this really cool exercise where we're trying to build a frame around a rectangle. Yeah, you having fun with it so far? Yeah. We had two pretty good tries, right? We, we First we just kind of cut up and we made it about most of the way around, but we had a gap. The second time we actually made it all the way around, but what was the problem? Some pieces weren't the same. Thickness or thinness. That's right. Okay, so would you do for, do me a favor and draw a, a frame, a perfect frame around this rectangle? What's that going to look like? That's okay. Good. That's, well, we can pretend a little bit on the drawing. Perfect. And what's, you want me to erase this a little bit? What's the important thing about one of these frames? Well, all the pieces have to be the same thickness. They all have to be the same thickness, but we don't know what that thickness is, right? No. So, what do you think we should call it? Maybe X. X. Let's call it X. Is how thick it is. And it's X thick that way, X thick up here, X thick over there, and X thick over there, right? Yeah. Okay. So, our first rectangle was 20 by 10. How big is that rectangle? That's 20 times 10? Yeah, and what is 20 times it's 10? It's 200. The area is 200. How big is our piece of paper? It was 8 by 8, so what's the area of that? 64. 64. Now we have this frame that's going to go around, and it has four <laughs> squares. One, two, three, four, and those are all x by x squares. So how big are those squares? Well, they're x squared. Good job. Job. So we have how many x squareds do we have? We have four. Four x squareds. And now we have, let's see, this rectangle that's 20 long and x high. So how, how much is that? How much area is in that rectangle? 20x. How about this one? 10 high and x wide. 10x. How about this one? That was 20x. And how about this one? And 10x. Okay, so the area of our frame is 4x squared, those are the four squares, plus 20x, plus 10x, plus 20x, plus 10x. Do you know where this 20x was, came from? What about this 10x? What about this 20x? What about this 10x? Awesome. And we need this to equal this area of the square, right? Because we're cutting it up? So we have to figure out what x is. Whoa. What is x? What is x? Do you have to do 64 divided by 4? Uh, no. 
Well, you want to do 64 divided by 4. And later on, when you're a little bit older, we'll learn how you would really solve an equation like this. But let's just solve it by checking a few numbers. What if x was 0? Zero? zero. What's 0 times 0? Is 0. What if, what's 20 times 0? Zero. 10 times 0. 0. 20 times 0. 0. 10 times 0. 0. So if x is 0, what would all this side add up to? 0. 0. Yeah, does that work? No. no. Okay, so what number do you want to try next? Maybe 1. 1, okay, great. What's 1 squared? 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. What's 4 times 1? Is 4. So that would be 4. What's 20 times 1? 20 times 1 is just 20. What's 10 times 1? 10. What's 20 times 1? Is 20. What's 10 times 1? Is 1. It's 10. Oh, okay. I wonder if this adds up to 64. 4 plus 20? Is 24. Plus 10? 30. 50 and then 70. It's 74. Actually, so 4 plus 20 is 24. 4 plus 20 is 24. That's plus 10, which is 34. Plus 10 is 34. Plus 20 is 54, plus 10 is 64. 64! Yay! So that means x equals 1 works for us, so we have to make our strips 1 inch wide. Interesting. And they'll go all the way around. Want to try it? Okay. Can you believe the math? told us what to do? Whoa. Whoa. Alright, let's go see. Okay, so here are our one inch strips. And, did it work? All the way around. All the way around, and everyone's the same width. Can you believe we did it? Whoa. Alright, high five. <laughs>